In this episode of Marina Queen, after we install a new mixing elbow on the engine, Patrick and I go sailing together for the first time. We test our gear, we test ourselves, and we shred our jib. And Patrick shares his secret to passing his college physics courses. My name is Rick. Join me as I refit sailing vessel Frog's Leap with an eye towards taking her to warmer places. I get to spend only a few days each month on the boat. That's why I call the channel Marina Queen. We got it. Yeah! Woo! All right. It's coming. Oh, man! Holy cow. It looks perfect inside. We can put it back on. Get those done. Get those done. I didn't realize it was reverse threads. Okay, so now we need some sort of wrench to hold the middle to tighten it. Do you have any giant wrenches? You know, we could probably bring this thing to Home Depot mm -hmm. and just do it there. <laughs> I might have to try to record you doing it. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, that's, I think that's too loose, right? I think we're trying to convince ourselves it's tight enough because we don't have the right wrench. I wonder, should we unscrew them and just look and see how deep they go and what the groove looks like and sure. maybe make a more informed judgment. See if we can drop it in there again? Yeah. Yeah, there's plenty more thread compared to where the crease went. Yeah, what do you think? What does your gut say? Get the right wrench. The right wrench. Get it right now. Get it right. Right now. Get the right wrench. Well, we did get some wrenches from a local boater in our marina. Well, I was fully prepared to go to Walmart and film Patrick. Eh, maybe next time. And we put it back together, and when we were done, well, we got underway. Oh, yeah. We are going to go to Ayala Cove on Angel Island. Uh, I'm excited to be going out on a small craft advisory day. That advisor I think was only for boats up to uh, 26 and a half feet. We're 27, so absolutely nothing to worry about. <laughs> the first time I came out of here, I had to back out of here because I didn't realize she backed to starboard. Oh, good, good practice backing up. <laughs> and it was funny, it wasn't until I sailed with an old Coast Guard buddy and he was like, man, I think your boat backs to starboard because you can see what I was <laughs> yeah. doing. <laughs> And my physics classes in college, there's often problems I couldn't solve, and then I'd go to sleep thinking about it. I'd wake up in the middle of the night, like with the solution, quick, write it down, and go back to sleep. Like your, your brain keeps processing after you practice it, even when you're not doing it. Like you're going over it in your sleep and whatever of how you know that kind of reprocessing those thoughts. All right, we're making our way to Ayala Cove here. We're trying to set ourselves up to do a westbound entrance into Raccoon Strait. This is where we decided we'd raise the jib. That's when we noticed it looked like the jib was ripping. It was a lot of fun. We continued to sail it. It became more apparent that it was ripping. And I've got a little clip here. It's not too much but you know it shows that uh we swapped out the sail we took off the jib from the roller furling and put up the genoa and sailed it back that way we completed the circumnavigation around angel island and then came back to the marina yeah it was a good time and ripping it was so here we're swapping out the jib for the genoa 
at the state park yeah. at Ayala Cove. Every boat's a little bit different. And before you know it, we were underway again. You know, one of the things that I like about sailing is that it forces you to be in the moment. We're seeking out the big wind. I think that's one of the most appealing things about it for me. There's some activities that, that bring you clearly to the present. And sailing is one of those for me. We're seeking out the big wind. You know, and when Mike was here, he said, I would replace the jib before I replaced anything. And he pointed out some tears in the jib. So when Patrick and I went out yesterday, we were using that jib and we got up into Raccoon Strait and I noticed there was like a tear at the bottom of the jib. And I said, I, I think that thing is ripping. We were seeking out the big wind. Woo! <laughs> Circumnavigating Angel Island, trying not to get an accidental jive here. We're going downwind, trying to make our way back. One reef in the main, and we've got a new Genoa up because we totaled our, our jib. So, so far so good. <laughs> Having done the sail, we've stress tested the jib and the jib failed. So now the Genoa is up and that's a positive development because you don't want that kind of thing to happen at an inopportune time. That's why you do a shakedown cruise. Shakedown. Shakedown. Uh, uh, uh. Shakedown. Uh. Yeah. We shook it down. Yeah, we did. Well, thanks for watching this week's episode of Marina Queen. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, press that subscribe button. Oh, yeah. It helps. I'll see you next week on the boat. Mm -hmm. New episode every Sunday. I'm not as think as you confused I am.